I don't have win of Nissan at all. Great parking, bro. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to a new vlog. Starting my day off with some troubles with that other car, just like waited here for like 20 minutes. I can barely get in my car because of that. Anyway, it's a huge mess here. He's still not gone. Yeah, and it's pretty narrow here too. Yeah, it's not what it looks like. It's also gonna be like the last time here at McDonald's. I'm not gonna go back. It's it's gross. I hate it. I already hate it. Where's my car? <laughs> That's normal here, you heard that every day. Today we're gonna talk about food on my channel, but before we do this, we're gonna get a really nice session done at Westchester Skate Park. Dale is coming too, let's do this. Down to film a couple of tricks? Yeah, man, yeah. Because I suck today and I wanna... Was that a break? Well, day, you're dude. the second guy that I film here and breaks the board. <laughs> First day riding it? <laughs> well, you know what? I always break my boards with flat ground tricks actually. Yeah. Right here? First right try? Here. You got it. And they're fucks that's in like the house. The, that's like the douche move right there. <laughs> Dropping the vape on the scooter. <laughs> oh, but that's a first try. Here you go, dude. Dude, ten fucks too. You're really good, actually. Let's get some tricks done. Or should I not? Do you not want me to? so good at this is your mind blown or what <laughs> yeah yeah dale decker is like a hardcore skateboarder for me you're the only scooter rider that i actually film <laughs> dude low-key it's like the funnest ever though riding a scooter it's so fun dude i'm not even lying that's it that's, it. Go, that's the perfect thumbnail Knee hurts. I don't know what I did. Scooted too much. Scootering is not good for your life. No, like he literally died. He literally died from riding a scooter. Dude, I know. I seriously did something to my knee. Let's talk about that scooter thing. What do you want like, to know? That's my. <laughs> How long did you scoot? I don't know. I was like. I didn't scoot. I didn't scoot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. I, I, I You said dude, that before. I, yeah, I have no well, camera. Well, when I was like 10, I just rode, I rode a scooter. I rollerbladed. I rode BMX. I rode motocross. I skateboarded. I did all of it, you know? BMX was, is actually cool. I was a I badass, like dude. You were a badass. Kidding. You were a hardcore, man. Yeah, a hardcore scooter. So hardcore. You got a problem with kickboarders? <laughs> I don't know if I filmed that, but that was awesome, and he's really good too. That's why I love America, everyone is good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, right! Uh, I got hurt riding a f***ing scooter. You still have to skate. Wh which knee is it? It's this one. Let me do well, some, the only ma Let me do some magic. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> the, only, the only reason why I'm like so worried about it is because... Completely broken. A new board. It? How old is it, you said? What, what is it? What, what, what is Today? it? What, what is that? That's such a clean break, dude. That's like... Yeah. Shouldn't really... I don't know. Wait, you just said impossible is not much harder than a kickflip. Yeah. I don't think so. For most people, it's not. All right, today I want to talk about different food chains here in America, especially European people. They're not really used to all those food chains they have here in America. When I was in California for the first time, I just knew Burger King, McDonald's, Starbucks and Subway. That's pretty much what you can find in Europe. Maybe you can find some KFCs as well. When you go to America, don't go there. I think that's like the worst food. Uh, only Starbucks. I like Starbucks though. I always go there. It's also different here in America, Starbucks. You can get some different stuff, also sandwich stuff and so on. So today I'm here at at Winchell's and that's gonna be my 
first fast food chain. I've never been here actually, but I've seen it all over Los Angeles and I think it's a really good one. Let's actually go check it out and that's gonna be my first one. Windshells, it's a Californian donut house. Let's go check it out. Wow, that was actually really cheap. That was just $4. Windshells. You will save some money if you know. Quiet, doc. I'm vlogging here. It's a lot cheaper than Starbucks. I think it's worth it to check out some like unknown fast food chains. Yeah, that's a really good one. I like that coffee. Mm -hmm. You won't believe this, but you know what's really hard to find in Europe? It's tacos. Um, it's like pretty much impossible to find tacos in Europe. I didn't even know what it is before I was like for my second time here in America because my friends took me to a Taco Bell um, and Del Taco is actually pretty big. I've been never been here. I've never been here, but I've seen it like so many times. And of course, like everywhere you have a drive through and that's like a Mexican fast food chain with quesadillas, uh, burritos, tacos, of course. I'll get one taco here. Yeah, that's another fast food chain. Europe doesn't have. Also the reason why I'm making those videos is I want to show the European people that actually that fast food chain, yeah, it's not healthy, I know that. Um, you shouldn't eat here at all. But I just want to show you guys, like, some of them are actually really good. It's cheap food if you're traveling around. I mean, I was traveling here in America for like a half year, six months, and I was really happy to find like all those hidden fast food chains. They're really good, and they're sometimes a lot better than McDonald's and Burger King and Starbucks. Like I just saw it before. It's as cheap as Taco Bell. Let's just not talk about healthy anymore, but this definitely looks like Taco Bell, I feel like. They were just about to call the police because of me. I don't get it. He, they told me like, you can't film in here. Anyway, let's go to the next fast food chain. All right, and I just discovered another fast food chain which we have never seen in Europe. This is called Wienerschnitzel. I, I wanna hear like, like those people say that name. Um, I'm not gonna eat here though. I think it's really funny because they have like burgers and hot dogs, but they don't have Wienerschnitzel at all, which I think is really funny. But anyway, <laughs> you, wanna, you wanna say Wienerschnitzel real quick? Yeah. You can also get like really cheap hot dogs here. I just seen this is like two dollars, three dollars or something. But now I need to go. My car is like in the middle of the. Yeah, and I don't think it's that big. This is not my third one. I'm gonna check out some other ones. I don't think you should try Wiener Schnitzel at all because they don't even have Wiener Schnitzel. Anyway, let's go somewhere else. Next up will be. <laughs> What's that? We humble. Sit down. And the radio here in America is freaking insane, hello! Alright, the next fast food chain restaurant is Jack in the Box. It's one of my favorites and you definitely won't find this restaurant in Europe. They have like tacos, you can find burgers here, breakfast stuff, style. Well, that's new, I've never seen that before. I don't know what that is, that looks gross though. By the way guys, if you want to get like some real tacos, don't go to Taco Bell or any of that shit. Go to the food trucks, they are a lot better and that's some real food and it's also as cheap as that stuff here. So Jack in a box, that was number three. All right, my next fast food chain is IHOP. This is one of my favorite breakfasts, fast food chains, really, really good. One thing they do really bad though, it's Wi-Fi. They don't have Wi-Fi here at all. We're not talking about Starbucks though, they definitely have way better coffee than here. This is the place for French toasts and pancakes. Go check it out, it's also more like restaurants style because um, you get seated and stuff really good fast food chain I like it one of my favorites but they should definitely have Wi-Fi in my opinion oh yeah and there's something else you need to know about fast food chains you can actually get a refill pretty much everywhere even at IHOP you can get a refill on coffee even at Starbucks but you need to pay like 50 cents I don't think you get a refill at Chamba Choose though I will ask them real quick and I get a choose a smoothie that's pretty famous here and that's also just a Californian chain fast food chain i'm not going to talk about this because it's not really fast food aloha pineapple really really good and healthy but this is not number five i still have one left well all right i'm not gonna lie this is my favorite fast food chain and there are still a lot more left which you haven't seen which i haven't checked out yet I also have another favorite one which is called chipotle i'm not going to talk about this one yet i just have five restaurants to choose and those are my five restaurants this is the last one also get my dinner here now and um, yeah, that's it. Let's get some food. The reason why I like it so much is also you can get breakfast here as well. You have really good Wi-Fi, it's cheap. Um, tacos, really good tacos, I like it. You can get sauce here, you can get refills. Uh, that's pretty much everything. Let's go get my food. 
Get as much as you want, refill. That's that's a cool thing here in America. Perfect, thanks. <laughs> All right, and before you get mad, I know this is not real Mexican food. This is just some crap and I just eat a crap food today. It's not healthy, I don't recommend eating it. Um, it's also not advertising for any of those companies. They don't give you money at all. I also bought all that sh By the way, you can also get always water at fast food chains. And now I wanna go back home to watch Dragon Ball Super and also One Piece, let's do that. I hope you enjoyed that kind of videos, by the way. And yeah, let's end today's vlog. I hope you enjoyed and we'll see each other hopefully tomorrow again for a new brand new vlog.